Number one, key lock, you gotta have it at a right angle with the arm up, okay? Arm lock is when it's straight out. Kimura is when the hand is pointing down towards the, towards the leg, okay? Uh, flip them, buddy. You guys got it. The reason why I want you to attack that arm from the mount, okay? It's because fundamentally, when your body's low, your chest is low, one of the key submissions is the, uh, the key lock. So you have to be able to understand the mechanic. Why I want you guys to attack also is because when you mount, this is the hand that I have the underhook. If he's already framing me here, I'll reverse my hips, move this way. Here, my right hand's already under here, okay? As I step over, it would not make any sense for me to abandon this as he lets it go and then try to now go get that arm, okay? Because from here, I'm not in the best position because I don't have underhooks. He's already got a little bit better position on me. I need to have an underhook, okay? So as I'm mounted, my right hand, you went from here and then go back down this way here, okay? He's gonna keep that elbow bent, okay? And from here, I need to be able to have my hand firmly on the mat and just walk it, walk it in an arc and tweak his head here. Cause he'll turn that arm to relieve the pressure here, okay? So it won't be obviously that easy, but you have just mechanically left hand here, right hand, and I'm gonna move that left elbow into the neck. I'm way heavy on this side. I need to use my feet and elbow and reset my body right here, okay? I need to be pulling, framing. So rolling is rolling his wrist so that it's flat. This is good for him, okay? This is not gonna finish it here. This will finish it right there, okay? My right hand is pushing, rolling my wrist down so I can even roll more pressure with my left hand, but my weight is on his chest and my left elbow is digging into his neck. Not here, I don't have the proper leverage, okay? And if he scoops his head on the inside, I lose that key lock and I lose control. The key here is control. For any position, you have to have position control. Right here, and I'm framing here. My weight is on my left elbow so that my right elbow can drag his arm down, okay? And oftentimes the way it happens is, is that it goes here, here, and here. We'll take it a little bit that way. Let's turn. So as you mount it here, he's gonna try to be hiding that arm, okay? And I'm gonna walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, move his head this way here. I can be heavy on his shoulder here. I can go here, bend it. Notice where I grab wrist palm. From here, I'm gonna move my elbows back, punch, and reset right here, okay? The reason why it's good to be here is because I'm on, I get a lot of pressure and I'm controlling his right shoulder. And not only as I roll my hip to the left, I can pull it back. So it's not my, really my elbows that are pulling, it's my rotation of my body that's bringing that arm back. You always can do this too. And get back into side control which is even worse of a key lock. But as long as you keep them flat, the defense for a key lock is to turn to your side, okay? Into the side that you're getting the arm twisted, okay? So as you mount it here, he's trying to bring his elbow down. I'm just gonna walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. Here, roll it, control it. Now my elbow's not aligned, realign it. And my weight on my elbow is like a little bit of a elbow plank push up here, my feet, scoot back. Go on on my left side, and everything's nice and controlled here, and it finishes, okay? So, just get the fundamentals and key, and then give your feedback to your partner so that this is nice and tight. Yes? Is it ribs on ribs or hip on ribs? Like it's kind of like my left rib, kind of between the ribs and the hips on his shoulder, okay? But I'm rolling it, and I like to keep my chest up. If your head's down, you create curvature. When your head's up, your chest is able to apply pressure. So when I get here, okay, and I'm like this, it's less pressure than when I'm oh, yeah. like this, okay? Because you also engage your core, your stomach, and everything. 
You know, and for, for, for those of you who have a slightly bigger center console, this is great for you guys right here because you can just kind of engage that center console, look up, and then you have all that, and that becomes really a lot tighter, and it's fantastic, okay? So, when your head's down, your body kind of curves, and your head's up, and you engage, you just do a lot of pressure. Okay, try it. One, two, three. And how about yes. that? Give a shout out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. Like that new says. This uh, wasn't meant for you, but if you uh, feel it was, you can use your life's bad business. Appreciate it.